Hey everybody, it's Dave here, Holiday for Two. Today I'm going to be doing a video comparing two different 200 watt solar panels that are both portable solar panels. And the second one I have here underneath is my Blue, Blue Eddy PV200 that I got about a year ago. And this one is a new one I just got about a week ago from Amazon. It was on a, one of those Black Friday sales. It's a cross, C-R-O-S, cross, 200 watt solar panel. And they had smoking deals on these, uh, on their Black Friday sales. I think I paid, by the time I got the coupon and everything, it was like under 150, it was like 140, 135 with all my points and coupons and everything. So I'm gonna try this out and see how this panel compares to the PV200 that I got about a year ago with my EB70. So it'd be interesting to see how these compare with each other as far as performance. And if you like this video, please be sure to hit give it a like, hit the subscribe, and ring that little bell on the side so you'll be notified when I put out more videos like this in the future. So let's see how these two rank up and compare to each other. Blue Eddy PV200, the Cross 200. Let's go. So someday when my ship comes in, I know just what we'll do. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. Okay, let's first let's take a look at the cross panel. Now this is a 200 watt solar panel, and I've never heard of this brand before, but when I saw as I was looking on Amazon and looking around for solar panels, this one popped up and it had a really smoking deal. Now, right now, if you go on Amazon, I've noticed in the last couple of months, solar panels have started dropping in prices. Uh, the PV200 that I have back here, the Blue Eddy, I got this one about, I got this one last year as a part of a bundle with the EB70. And for a while, these were running about 500. And I think when I got it as a bundle, it was probably around 400. But now these have come down. I think I saw one today uh, with a coupon and everything for like three, uh, between three and 400. So keep looking on uh, Amazon because th these are starting to come down. But these are two different panels. They're both 200 watt panels, but there are some differences. So I'll kind of explain them real quick before I lay them out and we're gonna see how they do in this full sun. Now I'm not gonna put them at an angle, I'm just gonna lay them flat on the grass and uh, test them that way. I know if you are out somewhere boondocking and you have the ability to uh, put them at a 45 degree angle, it's gonna help the performance so much. But a lot of times I just like to lay them out and see how they do laid out flat. Uh, in the summertime in Arizona, we get sun straight ahead, so straight up. So if you're in Arizona in the summertime, laying them flat is going to be just fine. But right now in the wintertime, the sun is probably about 45 degrees. And both of these panels have the ability to, they have little kickstands on them, so that you can set them at about a 45 degree angle. So we're going to test this one out and compare both of them. But let's take a look at the cross first. Comparatively, they're about the same weight and about the same size. They both have kickstands so that you can set them out in the sun at a 45 degree angle. They both come with accessories. This one comes with a little pouch that has all your accessories. And it's really nice when they give you all these little accessories. A couple of the accessories that came with it I really don't need. Like there's some different uh, patch cables here. What I like to do, a little tip for you if you have uh, these kind of panels, is I take an old camera bag. This is a camera bag for my drone, but I don't use this bag for my drone. I just use this bag and put all these cables in here. And then I keep this bag in the RV so when we go camping I know where all my cables are. So if you have extra cables, keep them in one spot because I guarantee you there's going to be some time in the future when you might need one of these cables. This is the charging cable, so I'm going to use that to charge up the Blue Eddy, the EV70. These are kind of cables you never know when you might need, so it's always good to have them in one spot. Alright, let's lay them out. 
and then we'll take a look at them and see how they do in a minute. So first let's kind of do a little rundown of how they compare. They're both 200 watt panels, so let me do a little quick comparison. The PV200 is 24 volts and it produces 200 watts at 10 amps. So it's 24 volts at 10 amps. This is a 200 watt panel. It produces 200 watts at 3 amps at 18 volts. For most people that's kind of meaningless. It doesn't mean a lot. But basically these both, both of these panels produce 200 watts of power but somebody explained it to me this way and maybe this will make sense. If you have a tank let's say you have two tanks and both tanks have 200 gallons of water. Both of these have 200 watts. So if two tanks have 200 gallons of water, one tank has a one inch hose and one tank has a half inch hose. Which tank will give you water faster? If you think of it that way. The tank with the one inch hose, you're gonna get water out of that tank faster. You're still gonna get 200 gallons of water, but one tank won't give it to you quite as fast. At least that was the analogy that I heard I don't know if those of you out there who are electrical engineers, you might have a better analogy than that. <laughs> that was kind of one analogy that I heard. It kind of makes sense. So they're both 200 watt panels, but one of them will be able to, should be able to give you power a little bit faster so you can charge up faster. We'll see. I'll lay them out in a minute and we'll see just how they do. Let's go. I thought you were my helper. You were supposed to be helping me. You were supposed to be helping me put everything away. Now you're going to take a nap? Oh, that figures. Yeah. Now I just laid them both out, so I want to show you. Here we have the Blue Eddy. Uh, this is the PV200 on the right. And on the left we have the Cross 200. And it looks to me like the Cross is a little bit bigger. The wider. It's just my... Maybe my eyes are bad, I don't know, but it looks to me like it's a little bit bigger. But we'll see how it compares as far as power. This one's been used a lot, so you can see it's got dust on it. That could make a difference. But one thing I did notice is the uh, Blue Eddy has more, more line to play with here, which is kind of nice. When I use this on my motorhome, I lay this on the roof and I just lay it flat, and then I let these come down and drape down so I can plug it inside my uh, bay. This one here doesn't have quite the length of cord, but that's okay because I'm probably gonna use this one outdoors anyway. So just something to see. You got more line here to play with as far as your cable, charging cable. These are the MC4 connectors. So I'm gonna hook them up and see how we do on the EB70. This is where I'm gonna use my first connecting cord here. This is the one that goes into the uh, EB70. I also use this in the uh, AC180. So a lot of the Blue Eddy products use this kind of, uh, I'm not sure what size they call this. I want to say 1 8 inch, but I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the video for you. It has a different size. But I'm going to plug in the MC4 connectors here, and then we'll see. I'm plugged in now. I'm plugged into the uh, PV200. So let's see how many watts it's pulling in. Okay, so the first panel I have plugged in is the PV200. And I hope you can see that. The sun's really bright out here. It says 56. It looks like it's pulling in 56 watts from the uh, PV200. And right now we just got some shade. So that's the shade. And that's what you need to think about when you're getting solar panels. You might have 200 watts up on, on the roof, but when the clouds come, boy, it really makes a difference. Oh, there it goes, which just went up to 46. 55. The sun just came out. You can see the sun's come out. All right, let's try this again. And I'm going to run it with the uh, cross. Uh, we got glare there. There we go. 54 watts. So this is with the PV 200. Let's try the cross 200 and see how All it right. does. Now they're both laid in the sun. This is interesting. Hmm. Notice they're both in the full sun, right? Um, I wasn't expecting this. 
this is really interesting I don't know if you can see that but the cross 200 is pulling in 82 watts 83 watts I hope it's not too much glare where you can see that 82 watts that's interesting I was not expecting that some of this could be due to the maybe I need to clean that it looks to me like one panel is pulling in a little bit more I don't know if you can see it on the camera there but it probably wouldn't hurt to wipe that down so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get a little wet towel and wipe down my panels and this one's brand new so I don't need to wipe it down but I'm gonna wipe down the the uh, PV200 and see if that makes a little bit of difference let's try it and then I'll wipe them off really good and then we'll plug them back in and see if it makes a difference I don't know what do you think is gonna happen <laughs> Now, I plugged it back into the uh, PV200, so let's see how we do this time. Plug it in and see what power we pull in. All right, it says 63 watts. I think that's probably a little better than it was, but not as good as the uh, cross, wasn't it? 63 and patches out of my way, so that helps. Hmm, I know it says 63 watts, but this is where that 24 volts and 10 amps may make a difference. It may not be showing up as high, and I'm just speculating here. It may not be showing as high here, but it may actually charge it faster. This is where I would almost need to have two EV70s with the same amount of discharge, comparing them to see just which one, which one could charge faster. The cross or the PV200. Just for fun, I'm going to plug the cross in one more time and try it. Just to show everybody here, I've got the cross plugged in. Let's see if you can see that. I'm hoping that you can see the screen there. It says 88 watts. Hmm, 89. Well, this I was not expecting. I was actually expecting it to do a little under the PV200. Now why it's, that's the case, I don't know. Somebody out there who's a electrical engineer, if one of you is an electrical engineer you might be able to explain it. Maybe, and I'm just speculating here, but maybe the PV200 is charging a little bit faster because it's the 24 volt with 10 amp and the other one is not quite as charging as fast because it's 3 amps at 18 volts. But I think that's pretty interesting that one the 140 what did I pay $140 for that 200 watt panel is outperforming the Blue Eddy panel at least on the surface it would seem that way right so just something to think about there's one last test I almost forgot to run so I'm setting everything back up again I'm gonna hook them together and run them in series and see how many watts I can get if I hook the two panels together. All right, I hope this makes sense. It's it's harder to explain than it is to just do it. So you take the red cable from one panel, plug it into the black cable from the other panel, then you plug your charger cable into the extra ones that are left, and we should have parallel. So let's see just how much power I get parallel here. Well, so far, nothing. Hmm. All right, well, for some reason, the EB70 wasn't showing up on the screen. This one, I plugged it into the AC180, and it's showing I'm bringing 134 watts in. And that's hooking the two panels up in a series. Between the two of them, it's 134 watts. I don't know if you can see that or not, but... Which I thought was interesting because the blue, the EB70 didn't show anything. 
which I don't know unless because the EV70 can't accept two panels at the same time let me plug it in I'll show you what I mean 12 to 28 volts 200 watts max so why it's not accepting the solar input on the EV on the uh, EV70 I don't know all right so we have the EV70 is getting nothing the AC 180 is starting to show some input here 131 watts from two panels laying flat so yeah they do work but they don't work for every unit now this one is 12 volts 60 volts DC 10 amps but it's taking both of them interesting now I know I've been reading about if you have two panels of different voltage and different amps it's gonna fall down to the lower so supposedly if this one's a 10 amp and this one's a 3 amp then it should go down to 3 amps at least that was my understanding but somebody out there can explain this if any of you can explain that phenomenon to me put down in the uh, comments below I just think it's interesting one of them will take two panels one won't now I did read it does say 200 watt max but it wasn't putting out 200 watts so a little phenomena there so if anybody has an explanation please put it in the comments below we'd love to know these are the kind of things we find out as we go through an experiment all right back to my other stuff but it's bringing 88 watts in right now on the cross so I'm pretty happy with that and that's laying flat now it could make a difference for both of them if I tilted them up so that they were at a 45 degree angle so hope you found this video informative uh, keep your eyes open for those on the Amazon I'm sure they'll probably have them on sale again They're the CROS cross 200 watt panels there's a couple other ones that seem very similar and the names are kind of names I can't remember off the top of my head but a lot of 200 watt panels I've seen right now around $200 so have a great day everybody safe travels wherever you're going be safe have a great day I'm gonna play around with this a little bit more catch you later guys bye